Hi, I'm Julie from the Craft Light Company and I'm here to show you the Jensen lamp. So you take it out of your outside to packaging and this is what you have inside. So you have your pole to make it into a floor standing lamp. You have your arm to hold a chart or a pattern or a piece or a hoop or any other little bits and pieces, tray and things. You have your base, you have your lamp, you have your transformer plug. You also have your battery box which allows you to run the item on batteries, sea size batteries and you have your clip to make it into a clip-on lamp. So I'm going to show you how to make it into all the different ways that you can use it. Give me just a second. Just put that to the side. So this is your base. Pop that down. This is your pole. If you want to make it into, if you want to use your chart holder, put the put this on now. So all you need is a standard Phillips screwdriver, and you just loosen the little screw that's here. Don't undo it completely, just loosen, and then you just slip the bracket up the pole to the desired place, and then tighten. So all you do, that's it there, that's it attached. That's all the tools you'll ever need to make the Jensen lamp. So, base, undo the screw fully so it comes nearly all the way out. So it comes like that. So it comes out and then just pop it in a tiny little bit. Push your pole in to the base and it will click down firmly. If you find that it's too tight, it is a tight fitting, it needs to be a tight fitting. If you find it's too tight for you personally to push it down, Take the pole back out, put a tiny little bit of lip balm or Vaseline or any lubrication just to ease it in, pop it in like that and you'll find it goes right down to the bottom and then you tighten your screw all the way up to hold it in place. Okay, like that. So that's it as a floor stand, floor stand ready to go. And then you just add your lamp, pop the lamp piece, undo this little screw at the top here this can be pointed in any direction, by the way. And then you bring your lamp, pop that into the top like that, and then tighten the screw to secure. So both pieces are now secure. Like that. Okay. Put that down onto the floor. So that's it now as a floor standing lamp. If you wish to make it a tall floor standing lamp, then you press this little trigger at the side here and the whole thing rises up to five foot high. So you can use it as a tall floor standing lamp. Okay, there's notches on the back side of the pole here. So any of these notches, it can be put to the desired height. You just squeeze this trigger and drop down and it clicks into place. So each time, clicks into place like that there. The arm, you can then hold your bracket, your pattern, whatever you like with that there. If you'd like to make it into a clip-on lamp, then you simply attach your clip to the table, like that, and then undo the pole, lift out into the clip, and then bend the lamp into the desired position, like that. Use two hands, not one hand. You can, if you want to secure it fully, take the nut from the pole and place it into the clip like that there if you want to lock it off. It doesn't really need it, but it's there if you do need it. So that's it now as a clip-on lamp to be used as a clip-on lamp, like that there. For turning on and off, simply attach your transformer plug like that, to that, plug in, switch on. That's your on off like that there. You've got a nice long lead on there. If you want to run it on batteries, four C size batteries in here. This just pops open like that. Four C size batteries in there. And then like that. And it will run directly off the batteries. This can be attached to the pole at any time as well. Like that. If you want to make the lamp into a table lamp, then simply take your base, 
pop it onto the table, take your screw, loosen that off again, like that, give the pole a little twist, that will be removed, pop that to the side, undo this piece, lift your lamp out, into the base, and tighten. And there you have yourself a table lamp. So table lamp, clip-on lamp, floor lamp, and tall reading lamp as well. That way you've got it as a table lamp, like that there. There's your lens. This will have protectors on it when you take it, when you open it up. There's a protector either side, obviously remove that. When you come to clean the lens, don't use fancy lens cleaners, soapy water and a yellow duster, that's all it needs. If you wish to polish it, just use a little bit of Pledge, Mr Sheen, something like that. Nothing fancy because lens cleaners can damage certain lenses. So, like that there, that's it there. If you want to use it just as a lamp, you just simply close the lid and tilt to the side and use it as a lamp. If you want to use the magnifier, then you bend it down, open the lid and look through the lens.